Today, I want to talk about how it's not enough to make a vow because sometimes we make vows, but we don't make commitments. And commitments are really the basis of the vow. And without that commitment, the vow, in a sense, may not really mean much. It's just coming out of your mouth, but there's no real connection with the dedication that, it, that you need to be able to follow that vow. So this is really important. So as many of us have done, we've taken vows, marriage vows, initiation vows. And those of us who have taken vows know well that taking the vow is not everything. You actually have to commit to the vow you've taken. And so what does commitment mean? Commitment means that I'm dedicated to following the vow I've made. It's not just that I say it, and this is a good idea, and I'm going to try, and I like it. Or even, I don't think that way. I think I've made the vow, but I really never internally committed fully. So commitment means that whatever I said I'm going to do, no matter what happens, I will stay committed to doing that. In my own life, I have found that sometimes it's difficult, as you have found, to follow your vows or to follow anything that you tell yourself you need to do or anything that you're, or things that your spiritual master has asked you to do. Sometimes it's difficult. And for me, often, in those difficult times, the only reason I'm able to follow is because I've made a commitment to follow. And because I've made that commitment, I don't have another option. Even I don't feel like doing it. Even I don't want to do it. Even it's difficult to do. It's the commitment that empowers me to work through it, to be able to resist my own feelings or to resist the temptations or resist the conditions, desires to do certain things. So I can't do it because I promised I can't do it. If you've promised but you haven't committed, it's not going to have that effect on you. If you made a vow, I will follow these principles or I will stay with this man, I will stay with this woman. But you haven't made the commitment that no matter what, I will stay with them. It's not going to work. I can't say it's not. It, it may not work. It, there, you may come to a point where you're tested and you give in because you only spoke the vow with your lips, but you didn't actually commit in your heart. Now, some of you are listening and saying, but are there times where I could take back a vow because it's become dangerous or emotionally uh, detrimental? Yeah, there are times. Those are special circumstances. I'm not talking about that now. I'm talking about general, general vows that are not problematic, that are not in and of themselves going to cause you problems. So commitment is the, is the idea that there is no other possibility, there's no other possible outcome than the thing that I promised to do or the thing that I vowed to do. Without that commitment, we have problems where we vow to do something and we don't do it. But with that commitment, like I said, when we don't feel like doing it, we'll do it. And what will we tell ourselves? He said, we will tell ourselves, I committed to do this, I must do this. And so that commitment requires integrity, that I'm a person of integrity who when they say I am committed fully to this outcome and this outcome only, only I will stick to that. And that will save us time and time again. That will empower us time and time again. Hare Krishna. Jai Prabhupada.